I knew I made a good choice with this movie when I heard Wicked's Gonna Come in the opening title sequence. In The Wretched, we follow Ben. He's a troublesome teen who's being forced to go home and stay with his dad to sort out his issues or whatnot. And Ben is starting to suspect odd things going on next door and thinks that his neighbor might be a witch. Now, The Wretched is an IFC Midnight film, and it comes from the Pierce Brothers. Now, granted, I've never seen anything else that the Pierce Brothers have done, so this, for me, was clean slate. I did not know anything going into this movie, but I have to say, I had a blast with The Wretched. This was very much on brand with what I like to watch when I want to watch something fun. Now granted, I want to go in and say I watched the trailer for this movie after seeing the movie and I do think the trailer is mildly misleading um, in the sense of tone. Um, yes, it is mean-spirited like the trailer probably alludes to. But I wouldn't say it's Disturbia meets Robert Eggers the Witch, even though there's definitely inspirations. I would say it's Disturbia meets Fright Night. I would say take the plot line of Disturbia, you know, have the neighbor be the Blair Witch, and watch this movie have a blast with that concept. I loved how mean-spirited this movie was. In fact, here in America, um... We have some weird fear of killing children in horror movies. I don't know why, but it's like we love to kill the dog, but hate to kill a child. And I don't know why killing children is so taboo. Um, and maybe it's just I'm so morbid and weird. I enjoy a good child death from time to time because children can be so freaking annoying sometimes. Let's be honest, I'll say it for you. And this movie is like, screw that. We gonna kill some kids. I loved how mean-spirited this movie was, but also how gleefully fun this movie is. It is gnarly, it is nasty, and the per and the practical effects in this movie are fantastic. I mean, the design of the witch itself is exactly what a witch, in my opinion, should be. It's ugly, it's hideous, you know, it's deformative, it's just disgusting in every way a witch should be but witches can be manipulative and how the witch m operates in society is really really cool and disgusting and i loved that sort of play i mean i thought the main character of ben was a great lead i thought the actor did a fantastic job portraying the role um granted i love angsty teenage kids because i'm an ang i was once an angsty teenage kid so i get that like i get that and i love watching that sort of like young adult horror film um and i love that sort of tone that this movie has. I think the tone is my favorite thing about this movie because it's so mean-spirited, but you can have this gleeful grin on your face while watching it. Um, this was a very, very entertaining film, and uh, there are a lot of twists and turns in the direction that this film goes, but in my opinion, it, it worked for me. I know that some people... They're not a big fan of last minute twist in movies. Now granted, I will say that will probably be the biggest issue that you'll have with this movie is this movie does throw on a last minute twist. But in my opinion, I don't mind those. I find that for this type of movie, I find them kind of fun. Um, and I loved the sort of twist that this movie gives. The Wretched is like Disturbia meets Frightening, but instead of the neighbor being a killer, it's the Blair Witch, and this movie takes that premise and runs with it and offers some fantastic practical effects, it, some great comedic moments, fantastic characters. This movie is an extremely fun time, and if you're a massive horror fan who likes to have a little bit of fun at the midnight hour, then I think The Wretched is a great, great choice to make. As the score goes, I'm going to give The Wretched a 4 out of 5. So you guys, there you have it. That was my review for The Wretched. Let me know in the comments section below when you see this movie, what you think about it. I personally love this movie so much. I could definitely see myself owning it in my collection. I, I had a great time with this movie, y'all. Um, it is a coming out on May 1st. So until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movier, and you guys have just been slashed.